So OpenAI is expected to announce significant advancements to chat GPT and GPT-4 today. Expectations are rife that Sam Altman-led OpenAI may launch a new artificial intelligence-driven search product as a competitor to Google. Now, Sam Altman has, of course, denied the reports of OpenAI planning to come up with a Google-like search engine. OpenAI CEO say that he will come up with something that people will, in fact, love and it's not going to be a search engine. So what exactly will it be, Karthik? Um, I don't know. I mean, I wish I was... I was in the mind of, I, I could read the mind of Sam Altman and really give a concrete answer to that. But what we definitely know from what we are reading, uh, what it is not going to be, it's not going to be a search engine, okay. right? So that was, I think, Google's biggest fear because Google search accounts for almost 80% of the entire search market, followed by Microsoft Bing. And Microsoft Bing, uh, you know, still, uh, while it uses OpenAI and while it uses GPT services, AI services, has not really made much of a dent, dent yet to Google's dominance when it comes to search. But Sam Altman has said it is not going to be a search engine. He has also said it's not going to be chat GPT-5. Okay. So chat GPT-5 was the next really big expectation because it's been about 13, 14 months since GPT-4 got launched and uh, no real massive upgrades which could warrant the launch of a GPT-5 mm. as yet. But uh, today's press conference and today's launch demo was expected to be that of GPT-5. But I think enough water has been spilled on that as well that it is not going to be GPT-5. So now that you've so, ruled out everything, so what, what is remains? Going to be? I think, you know, from the tweets by both OpenAI and Sam Altman, it seems that there are going to be some massive upgrades to the existing chat GPT-4. And what could these upgrades be? I think for one, it could definitely be a more error-free and a faster processing of, uh, you know, of, of whatever the Gen AI engine eventually generates. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling it could also be Sora. So Sora, okay. we have not yet seen being launched, you know, publicly for consumption, for use by uh, anybody outside of that very, very closely guarded short testing unit. So Sora has done the rounds, it has made headlines and uh, the, the text to video generation is something which requires enormous processing power and requires enormous amounts of footage and data and images and music to be crunched, uh, which the public has not yet really been exposed to trying for mm -hmm. themselves. So, you know, maybe a public uh, demo for how regular users of GPT-4 can end up using Sora and start creating video content using Sora could be one of the things that gets announced today. I think another demo perhaps, if not an announcement, could be what I'm reading again from papers is that Apple is now keen to tie up with OpenAI and integrate its AI functionality within the iPhone ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So some demo of that, some demo of what the future of handheld AI driven technologies could look like may as well be on display, but all, right. all in the realm of speculation. All I have no idea whatsoever what <laughs> Sam Altman is going to throw up there tonight. All right, so we have no idea, no clue, of course, but we're also guessing like the rest of the media from reports out there and from what OpenAI has revealed so far, all those details will be out at about 10 a.m. Pacific time, which is about 10 p.m. India time today.